morning and happy monday today is the 19th of february i haven't filmed in quite some weeks now and i just had the feeling and desire to sort of pick up the camera and have a bit of a catch up and a chat about what's been going on over the last couple of weeks um and yeah just have a, a catch up overall really so the last video i filmed was mid january and that was a bit of a sort of like hi hope you all had a great christmas um these are my plans for the year ahead and what have you and that didn't quite go to plan i mean i basically set out with this sort of like feeling that i just wanted to kick the year off to a really great start um sort of get all of my goals and what have you into in some form of like order and then just like really crack on with them and yet just didn't go that way so very shortly after i made that video um my sort of hormones and mood and mental health just was completely all over the place like i just felt like something wasn't right all the time basically like i was trying to sort of distract myself with it doing work stuff but i'd find myself being super like critical that i'm not doing enough that i'm not doing the right thing i need to do more of this and then um be sort of super hyper, hyper focused on that and then this other thing would come in and yeah it, it was just a bit of like um i suppose i could describe it the feeling of like a bit of an identity crisis really struggling to find where i fit in in the world what my purpose is what i'm giving you know it was just it was just one of those moments where for a good period of time and i'm definitely not out of the woods i definitely don't feel like so much better now but i just felt like a shadow i just felt like i was like everybody else was very visible and had purpose and meaning and success and then i was just this shadow in the background that didn't really mean anything and wasn't important or had any anything to give so yeah it was pretty shit pretty shit like sort of feeling like what's the point basically um and that that sort of like ebbed and flowed between feeling a bit better and then feeling a bit worse and yeah i guess the whole time just sort of somewhat feeling like also like time's running out like i need to really get my shit together i need to figure this out i need to work out what i'm going to do what direction i want to take my life and but ultimately the underlining feeling was that something isn't right something that something within sort of like how i'm living day to day um the direction and the path that i'm walking didn't didn't not feel like it aligned with who who i truly am or who i really want to be and i I feel like I'd got into a bit of a rut with that. So I was just going through the motions of day to day. Um, and through sort of like thinking and contemplating, I feel like the majority of how I was feeling was that somewhere subconsciously inside me that came out into my conscious thoughts. I just know that I'm not fulfilling my full potential or the things that bring me joy. So yeah, I think that that is the overall sort of like reason i'd started to feel how i felt and how it had got so bad i think i was just really just living on autopilot a little bit and then doing doing things here and there that that i got enjoyment from and then just trying to boost my mood a little bit but most most probably most of the time just deflecting and just feeling like oh i'm just having a bad day or this is this is normal which it is normal to sort of feel feel down and just like be a bit questioning sort of your life choices and what you're doing and blah 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 but i think to the extent and level i was feeling it it just wasn't right it was just too severe so over the last couple of weeks there's been lots of sort of like um talking with friends and family and lots of like self-reflecting um mostly sort of been doing that inside my head which i don't think is the most creative or best way to to sort of find some solution to internal turmoil 
but I am challenging that now in more sort of um, outwardly proactive activities um, and I feel like I'm gonna sort of continue on that path I'm gonna try and like maybe take up things like journaling or um, just just to try and figure myself out I think I've got to a place in my life where I'm a bit confused with where where I get my um, enjoyment from and I've been I've been really trying to pay attention to that so for instance when something naturally just sparks sparks something within myself I've been paying attention to that and going oh okay so that is something that's really authentically bringing me joy or similarly when I am doing something that I think I should be getting joy from or that I am um maybe I did at one point and I'm not now also paying attention to that and just thinking oh okay so I, I don't enjoy this as much as I thought I would or I, as I, as much as I did um so yeah I've been trying to be sort of hyper focused on things like that and really channeling it channeling it a little bit more um I think something that I need to do for myself is is find a creative outlet that is a physical product that I can look at and say I that's what I've done and also within that spend the time creatively and getting my creativeness out because I am a very creative person I'm more sort of visually um create made up than I am sort of intellectually if that makes sense so I get more pleasure out of like of actually being creative than maybe sort of like problem solving if that has any makes any sense at all so yeah and for for a, a, a really long majority of time in my life I was very creative um all of my sort of academic further academic studies were around creating things um uh, which were more computer based and I think I think like now the time in my life I am now I think I'm more creative in sort of like a um maybe away from the computer more so I mean I love video production photography um I love graphic design I and I think I always will but I think I think the part I'm at in my life now I'm, I'm going down a much more organic sort of like um physical thing you can hold in your hand approach so yeah I'm still a bit sort of confused and still trying to channel that energy and trying to sort of figure the shit out but I think I'm getting I'm getting to a place where I'm feeling a little bit more settled by it a little bit more understanding that these things happen and it's okay to take another direction in your life it's totally okay to sort of not be happy and change things I think it's very hard I think we struggle as people because if you're not already doing something I think a lot of the time we get challenged with the fact of well if you're passionate about that you would already be doing that and I think that's a load of bollocks basically because you can you can really sort of like have an interest in something and the, there's reasons why you're not following that through to fruition why you're you know it's something you would like to do but maybe you're fe fearful of failure maybe you don't know the correct avenues to go down to achieve that thing maybe financial implications are you know holding you back there's many reasons why you could want to do something with your life but you have barriers holding you back from it and it's not necessarily um a lack of passion or interest it's more you know just whatever other contributing factors holding you back so I'm trying not to let myself hold hold myself back from things because I think, you know, I think that there's been many stages throughout my life where I've wanted to do something and whether it's, you know, an internal voice telling me that I'm not good enough, that I'm not capable, that I can't do it, you know, or whether it's an external um, voice telling me that, I think I've really taken a lot of that on and, um, I think a lot of the time when I'm thinking about things I want to do or things that bring me joy or things I'd like to achieve I do think there's a there's a barrier up basically that I need to try and break through to get to get to a place where I feel comfortable to say okay I can do this and it doesn't matter if I fail 
you know, it matters that I just try. So there's all that kind of stuff going on. And um, I've been doing, I've, I've been on a few beach walks, which I'm really loving. Um, I've been collecting more sea glass because I've got some creative sort of projects that I want to start doing with that. Um, it's it's really difficult because I don't want to make this video super long and I know I tend to ramble but I also want to sort of get it all out and maybe have somewhat of a fresh start um, and a fresh a fresh sort of like approach to filming and you know bringing you guys along this journey with me I want to be able to sort of like feel like I've covered everything but also I don't want to make it super long but basically, I've just been applying that principle of, you know, does this bring me joy? Do I like this? Um, to most elements and aspects of my life in terms of like the things I'm, the clothes I'm wearing, the foods I'm eating. Oh. I think that was the postman. Interrupted by the postman and floss. Um, I think I was saying that I am basically trying to apply it to all aspects of my life in terms of like the clothes I'm wearing, the, thing, the foods I'm eating, um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and that, I had a huge clothing sort through, um, I think about two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago now, and just basically went through everything and was like, right definitely no definitely no definitely no just trying to be very very honest with myself do i like this is it me am i a different person to when i purchased this you know i tend to sort of hoard clothes and hold on to lots of things so it was a very therapeutic process and i've managed to get rid of quite a lot and i'm gonna continue to do that over the next coming weeks just get rid of the things that i feel are not representative of who i am or what i want to wear but that is also reflective of sort of my weight loss journey and my um how i feel about my body at the moment because i mean you can wear whatever you want to wear at any size you know i'm not i'm not saying for a second that if you are a size you know 20 you can't wear the clothes that i want to wear or like me i'm a size sort of 18 lower half 16 upper half that i can't really wear the things i would like to wear at the moment but that being said i can't wear them and feel how i want to feel and that's a huge difference you know yes you can wear it of course you can you can find it in your size you can put it on you're wearing it but i can't find it in my size, put it on, wear it and feel how I want to feel because I'm not happy with how my body looks and that's totally okay and that's totally fine of me to say that, you know, it's my body, I don't like how it looks, I don't like how it feels, so it's difficult to try and sort of like fit those two things in together whilst I'm on the weight loss journey and trying to sort of like get to the place where I feel most comfortable and I sort of, you know, look in the mirror and, and I think yeah that's how I want that, that item of clothing to look and that's just being brutally honest you know I think I think a lot of the times we well I a lot of the times I'm very fearful of sort of what people are going to think or say to me um based on my opinion or or maybe take it like that's a a blanket sort of view to everybody like I don't think people look good at that size and, and that it's so far away from the truth because I see all the time people my size are much bigger than me absolutely rocking outfits and they look amazing they you know are just wonderful people and I don't look at them and think oh that doesn't look good because you're so you you this size they're clearly looking good in it because they're rocking it, because they're feeling it, because they're happy with themselves, they're comfortable in the body, and that shows, you know, that, that shows through. But I'm not, I'm not at that place yet. So I've just been trying to sort of think about that, like what, what, can, I, what can I wear at this moment in time that reflects me and who I am, that I love, because I feel like I have been holding back a lot of the, a lot of the outfit choices that I have, do sort of like they don't necessarily reflect the things that I would wear if I if I was that sort of like my goal weight but I am trying to challenge that a little bit because I do think a lot of it comes from self-acceptance and all these things so 
Um, I have been challenging that with some success and I'm still a little bit like, Meh. I don't really feel like I want to wear that yet, but it's, um, yeah, it's just a process that I'm going through. Just sort of like trying to feel good, as good as I can in myself every day and, and, and making sure that things that I'm wearing, I'm happy with and yeah. So that's, <sighs> Without sort of going into it in too much depth, that's kind of like what has been really going on in terms of like my mood and where my head has been at. Um, another thing that's happened over since I last filmed is I have stopped vaping. Now, a little bit of a backstory. I didn't smoke, vape, whatever, up until the ages of around 26. 6, 27. I then smoked for like maybe a couple of years um, and then I stopped smoking altogether um, and stopped smoking. I didn't vape or anything at that point um, for about a year and then, and then I started vaping and then I vaped between then and now. So it just it just became this thing where I was doing it more and more and I just thought, do you know what? I really don't want to do this. It's not I'm not I mean I don't I've got nothing against people who who, you know, choose to vape or smoke or whatever, but I just felt like I just didn't want to do it. I just I just I just felt like it wasn't part of my sort of journey ahead and it was very difficult to stop. Much I found much harder than um stopping smoking because I think there's instant benefits to when you stop smoking, whereas when you stop vaping, you don't really notice them um, as much. So yeah, very difficult. And I, my cravings went through the roof. I had a whole packet of Cadbury's chocolate fingers solely to myself at one point, which was uh, very interesting. And yeah, it just, it, it, it was very difficult. I mean, I don't like to do things by halves. Going through a bit of a mental turmoil and then adding in um, nicotine cravings and withdrawals at the same time, you know. But I suppose now I am sort of three weeks vape free and they have settled so much, so much. So I think I'm over the worst of it. I don't think it's gonna, you know, there's definitely gonna be times where I am sort of craving it or wanting it, especially if I have a drink. I think that's gonna be the most difficult time. But I have, I, I am proud of myself for that. I am proud of myself for making that decision and um, committing to it. So that is good. And then in terms of sort of like my weight loss journey, cause that is essentially what my YouTube channel is, is sort of centered around is, is my weight loss and fitness journey. Um, I haven't really, I haven't really tracked at all. The foods that I've been eating, it's just not been, um, I've just not really been that sort of focused on it, I suppose, you know, just sort of eating what, what I kind of want whenever I want it. Um, and it's not really been anything particularly healthy. I've just not really been nourishing my body at all. So that's um, that's something that I want to sort of like start reintroducing is just good, nutritious, healthy foods. Um, and that always makes me feel so much better. Like when, when I've had sort of a period of time where I've not really been too focused on what I have been eating and I've been eating a lot of sort of refined carbs and what have you. Um, yeah. I definitely, I definitely notice it. So I'm looking forward to just sort of feeling that nutritious, like healthy feeling again. I have been keeping up to my 10,000 steps and my Apple fitness ring, closing the ring goal. Um, I have now done that for 203 days solidly. I, you know, I have, whether, there was one there was one point throughout this time where I injured my back and it was very difficult to get those steps in extremely hard um but the sort of desire to continue on the current streak and not lose all of those days was far outweighed the pain or like the hobbling around for however many hours it took me to do it because 
yeah, it was very difficult. Um, but that has somewhat become a way of life now, which is good. I mean, I don't really feel, I don't think I feel as, um, what's the right word? I don't, I don't feel like it's, it's uh, that much of an achievement. I don't know why that is. I think possibly because I've been doing it for so long, it's now become just part of my day that I'm just like, oh yeah, just get that done. Um, but it is, it is good. I think it's the one thing over the last couple of years that I've stayed very true and committed to for the longest period of time, which is a good sort of like, it, it's a good boost of motivation to know that I can stay committed to something, um, which is probably the greatest achievement out of it. So I am keeping up with that. Um, in terms of the gym, I haven't been to the gym in ages. Like, I can't even remember the last time I went, which is really not very good at all. And yeah, I, I had planned to pick it back up this week, get back into a routine of going more regular. Um, and perfect timing, my friend messaged me yesterday who joined the gym that I am in. And we'd been meaning, like, we'd been saying, oh, we must meet up and have a workout together. Um, and she messaged yesterday, just to sort of like say, hi, how are you doing? And that she wanted to, um, a similar kind of thing. She'd not been in a little while. So we both wanted to start doing the classes at my gym and we're gonna go do that this evening. So that's, that's quite exciting. Something I've wanted to do for so long and I don't know why I've been putting it off and putting it off, but I think, you know, something new and something a bit different is definitely going to be um, good. Uh, so I'm planning. I'm planning on just going as much as I can. I'm not really going to set in any sort of intentions of just yet. I'm just going to say uh, just go as much as you can. And then moving into March, I think I'm going to start putting myself a bit of a like a bit of a fitness plan together. Um, but. As I'm trying to think of the things that are bringing me joy, I don't know at this moment in time, it doesn't like really fill me with much excitement, but I think that's just because I have had so much time away, um, I've forgotten like how good it feels to go to the gym. And once, once I kick it back up again, I will definitely start feeling like, oh yeah, this is why I used to go every day for like three months solid and didn't, didn't not miss a, a session. So yeah, that's just the plan in terms of the gym, starting up some classes, starting to do, you know, just, just get myself back into the sort of zone of going and, and working out. Um, and in terms of food and in terms of tracking, I am just gonna really focus this week on, on trying to be as clean and, um, eating very nourishing foods and just trying to be very kind to my body, just try and heal a little bit of the sort of destruction that's happened over the last couple of weeks. Um, I haven't weighed in and I am planning on doing so on Friday. So we will see what the, we will see what the result is of having a little bit of a blip over the last few weeks. But I am, today is probably the first day that I felt inspired about the sort of like about my weight loss journey my fitness journey and the new path and the new direction that i'm gonna try and sort of steer my life into it's it's taken it's taken a while to get here but i definitely feel like feeling like oh i really want to pick up the camera today and have a bit of a catch up is a good indication that i'm feeling much better because there's just no way that I would have felt confident or comfortable enough to do that over the, sort of like the last month. So yeah, I think that's a good sign and um, I hope that you all have been keeping really well. I'd love to know and hear how you've been. So the battery died, can't find my spare one, so I've quickly charged up this, so I'm hoping there's enough power in it to get through um, the outro of the video. I really hope that you have enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really makes me smile. And if you haven't done so already, I would super appreciate if you could hit subscribe. If you do enjoy watching my videos, you can hit the notification bell. And until next time, which is hopefully Friday at the latest, stay happy, healthy, and well. Love you all. Bye.